All right, so this is gonna be one of my more ambitious projects, I guess, or a unique project in Game Maker, where I'm going to be creating this right here, Blizzard, this screen, Battle.net, kind of my own version for my own games. If this project is successful, and if you're watching this, it was successful, then what should happen was I will probably make a tutorial for this if you want it, but if I have multiple games, then I will have this program, which will be a kind of a launcher for them all. So this will have different games that I've created, and you as a user, when you install this, will have access to be able to view and see all the games that I created, and oh, hey, maybe you want to play my one game, you can install it it'll automatically install for you, save the information, and then create a shortcut for you. I would like to have a play button, like here, a play button and update, though that might be a bit harder, so if I get there, that'll probably be in a different part, but for now I just wanna have a place where I can view all the games that I created and have a way for people to install them and view them. So. Without further ado, I guess I better get started. Okay, so in about 15 minutes, yes, I kept track, I created two games. Not very good games at all, this game and this one, consisting of three objects and three sprites each, but they're games nonetheless and they will work. So this one is Shooter Galore, because I had to think of a name, and this one is very simple if it will ever start. You are here. If I hold space, I can move towards the mouse. I can hold left click and do shootable train. So there we go. Very simple. This one took me about seven minutes. The other one also took me about seven minutes. So this one right here is called A Brand New World. I wanted to give two different mediums, so the first one was a top-down, this one's a platformer. Again, very simple platformer, but I mean it works, so arrow keys move, up to jump, if I land on yellow it does a higher jump, so very simple, created a very simple level as well. And that's all there is to that. Now all I'm going to do is come here, click this button, and probably save it, I'm guessing as a zip file, the compressed might be the best one. I'm not too familiar when it comes to exporting projects and the differences in them. So I'm going to go to the D drive where I can find it, and I guess save it there, and I'll see what I'm going to be doing with that. So I'm on GitHub and I created a new repository for myself called Games and it's got the two games I made, the Brand New World and a Shooter Galore and they just contain the zip files that I created. If I were to click one, yeah, I go to it and there's nothing special here, but if I do this view raw, I found that it will instead download the file for me. So instead what I did is I right clicked it and did copy link address. That way if I ever paste this and I went to that link that I just copied, it automatically downloads the file, which I'm downloading more than I should right now. So up here in this file, I have an empty folder. This is the project folder for the, I guess, um, application that I'm creating. So what I would like to happen now is for this to fill up with those executable files as I install them inside, oh, I want to play this game, so install it. And when it installs, it should install to this folder where it can be run. Down here is Game Maker where I have my first test. So if I run this, it's got the little debugger at the bottom. It just takes a second. So here's what's going to happen. It's just going to run, and you're going to see nothing happened here. 
but if I come to the top right, back to this file where it added them both to it. So the first thing it did was it added the zip file, which is the zip file I downloaded from GitHub. And then GameMaker decides to unzip it, and it unzips it in a file called new content. I'm going to rename this to something better. And in new content, it has all of this. And most of this isn't important right now. All I need is to double click this. And so now I just have to have GameMaker run this file. And this doing that will start up the game, essentially. So hopefully it starts up. And there we go, playing the game through this system. So that's the two things I need to do. First off, organize these files. Second off, delete the zip file after I install it, which seems like a good idea. I probably don't need it after I'm done installing and unzipping it. So I do that, clean up the names, and then find a way to run this. And then I'm pretty much done. Then I'm just going to create some buttons for myself to make it look nicer and I'll show you that when it's all complete. So far I have something working. It's not my favorite solution in the world, but right now I have the game running. The game is installed. If I push enter, then what happens is the command prompt opens and after a short delay, hopefully, the game itself will open. So the reason I don't like this solution as much is because of the command prompt. I would like a way to close the command prompt, but for now, I suppose this works. If I wanted to do it better, I'd probably do it in probably Java or C++ somewhere where I could control it so where I didn't have to have a command prompt. But for now, I guess this works, so I'll stick with it. So far this turned out to be a very quick video because I am now done. All I need to do is run it and it should be working. I added some styling, but obviously I would probably end up adding more styling to it. As you can see the screen looks a little bigger or smaller, however you think about it. That's because normally when I'm recording I have it like this, but for now I'm just going to have it big. So I have the two games, and they both say install. If I were to install one, it'll turn gray while it installs. And then now I can play it. This one's still not installed, but if I run this, I can push play. And it will run the game, close it, run it again maybe. I can also run multiple, I believe. No, I cannot. So I probably want a way to close this whole thing because if I'm running one application, I can't, and I try to go back to this, it doesn't work necessarily. So that's a little awkward, but it works. If I come here, I can install this one now and then run this game instead. And it'll work just like the other game, so I can switch back and forth to play either one, close it, reopen it, works just fine. If I reopen it, it'll still remember that it was installed and everything, and I can still come through and play the game that I want. And I also made it very easy to add new games if I ever make new games. Obviously these aren't my games, really, so I would not gonna use these, but for the future, if I ever do manage to finish a game, this is what I'll be using. I do want to figure out a way to fix this because right now, if I close that, it does that, but there's no way to really close the application before hand, so there's no way in code to close it automatically, which I would like, but this is a solution for now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.